In this video, I'm talking to you about knots versus miles per hour and what's the difference between the two. A knot is a unit of speed that measures one nautical mile per hour or one minute of latitude per hour. Miles per hour measures distance, but knots measures speed. Try and remember one knot is equal to 1.15 miles per hour. A simple calculation is to multiply 1.15 times knots is gonna equal your miles per hour. For instance, 100 knots times that 1.15 equals 115 miles per hour, roughly. Keep in mind that miles per hour or kilometers per hour, that measures distance on the ground for vehicle traffic, but knots is measuring speed for aviation. Knots are used worldwide in meteorology as well as maritime and air navigation to measure the speed of a vessel relative to the fluids in which they travel. Tidal streams, river currents, and wind speeds, those are all measured by using knots. Knots go back all the way to the 17th century, where it was used as a measurement on the log lines of ship logs. Sailors measured the speed of their ship by using a device called the common log. The common log was a rope that had knots that were tied in it at specific intervals, and then it had wood attached to those knots. They would lower the rope into the water and let it float freely behind the boat for a certain amount of time. And then when the time was up, they would bring the rope back in, they could count how many knots were left in the water, and that's how they determined their speed. When you're flying, your wind speed, your ground speed, or any of the speed that's read on the instruments, it's all given to you in knots. While distance is given in nautical miles, so there's no confusion between the two. Knots are accepted globally in aviation so that it can be used anywhere in the world and everyone's on the same page. This makes estimated arrival times and wind calculations easier to compute for a pilot no matter where you're flying in the world. To recap, miles per hour or kilometers per hour, that's gonna be used for distance where knots is used for speed. Do a quick Google search, miles per hour versus knots. There's a conversion chart. Keep that on your device, bookmark it. That way you have it for easy access. Or even better, click on the links that I left in the description below and add that to your aviation folder of resources.